This is Toy Product Design. It's an introduction to the product design process for freshmen here at MIT. And right now we're at the uh, MIT Museum playtesting some early stage models. This is the product called the Sword Fighter. Um, we have a push button sensor in the middle, um, attached to a battery pack and a siren. So whenever the button is hit by anything, um, Usually the sword, then the siren goes off, and that's when you know you get hit. The museum here at MIT, and it just so happened they're doing the toy demonstration, which is great for the kids. So they get to try the toys first before other people. So the intention of the class is to expose uh, people to the product design process and designing for children. You open this and fill it up with water, and there's little holes in this. You throw it, and then water comes out. That's how it works, and it's cool. Class, 2 double B. it's a really fun class. We, in, we're in a group of about five, six students, and with a certain theme. This year's theme was outdoors. A lot of the MIT students uh, try to incorporate new technology, new sensors into the toys. To, to fully experience this class, it's better to keep it simple, uh, so you can, you can have something that really works and looks like a product at the end of the semester. But a big part of the, the process is like what we're doing here today, which is the play testing, where you come up with the ideas, you make simple models, and you really go test them with children, and you see how they react, and from that, you learn what's interesting, what isn't interesting, uh, but lots of times some thing that's just sitting on the side that you haven't even really thought of as a toy is something everyone gets excited about, right? And In actuality, we'll have a whole bunch of these units, which are lights, and this glove, which changes the color of the lights. And so once you swipe it, it'll change colors, and then there's like a, a grace period where you can't capture it in between. Some of the toys have gone on to the point of filing a patent, um, uh, working with uh, large companies on trying to license the ideas. May every kid puts like a playing card on the spokes of their bicycle to pretend they're riding motorcycles. This would be like way more compelling and more realistic. Uh, uh, the idea is to uh, eventually move it to a bicycle so that kids would be able to hear motorcycle sound effects corresponding to how fast they're riding. And then like as they stop, there might be like screeching noises or something like that. This is, it's remote controlled and you drive it around Ideally, you'd have two, or you could have even three, four of them. Eventually, we're going to build in some button functionality. Uh, this is the Bump in the Night bumper box. Uh, this is a frisbee launcher. So our idea is that you can like launch multiple discs and like shoot them at each other.
own sword, but um, the foam that we used didn't really work out very well. With a, a concept that was Bump in the Night Bumper Bots, which were kind of like, supposed to be just like kind of a circular bot with a light on the top. Cool, I like the colors. I think it's simple, but all the parts are interchangeable, so I think it's really neat. If I was a kid, I'd buy it. I'm not a kid, I'd still buy it. This was awesome. This was like the best class I've ever had. Oh, we got the camera.